It is a devastating tragedy. That's how former Olympic champion Bruce Jenner described the multi-car accident he was involved in over the weekend that left a 69-year-old woman dead. Point it to certainly any sort of, um, you know, desire to go undergo a gender tran uh, transition, but... Um, but he just said he never liked it. You know, he never liked um, having an Adam's apple. Jenner is on the cover of People magazine on stands this week, and comments from stepdaughter Kim Kardashian have only intensified the intrigue. Everyone goes through things in life, but I do think that that story and what Bruce is going through, I think he'll share whenever the time is right. A week before that interview, an Instagram photo of the Kardashian clan with Jenner simply said, family first. Yeah, I mean, they're ramping up for um, some sort of big announcement. Definitely the anticipation has been building. It needs to be cut into. Let me, like, let me sleep on it. Jenner has been in all nine seasons of the cable hit, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, although always in the background. Renee Richards, a transgender eye surgeon and former professional tennis player, tells CNN from her standpoint, Jenner can't be enjoying all this publicity, especially at this time. I was very upset when uh, I went through my transformation and tried to do it uh, privately. But Jenner is now front and center more than ever, and any believed invasion of privacy may be the one thing he cannot change. Now, this is currently an accident investigation. It is a traffic incident involving a fatality, but that could morph into a criminal investigation. It may take up to a year, but it's a very serious investigation. Now, on the other hand, everybody is waiting for Bruce Jenner to step forward and to talk and to give a statement. But because of the potentiality of suits, a civil suit even, maybe that will stop Aaron him talking sooner than later.